Hi, this is Rune from the Emacs Studio development team. In this video, I'll be demonstrating using the new ActionScript 3 API introduced in Emacs Studio 1.1 to control the playback and behavior of Flash movies placed on page inside an Emac. What I'll be doing is that I'll be creating a custom Flash file using the new ActionScript 3 API and making it playback uh, when the page it's on is reached using different behaviors. So. Um, what you need to do to access the new developer tools is to open the help menu inside Emacs Studio and click on the developer tools uh, menu item. Now this will bring you into the uh, Emacs Studio program folder and you'll see that there's a folder called uh, Shockwave Flash Holder API. Now basically what I've done here is that um, I've taken that folder and copied it to a new folder with my testing project um, and then I fired up Flash CS5 and created a small test project to demonstrate what I want to be doing here. Uh, so you see here I have a uh, animation with a bouncing ball that plays back and on the first frame of uh, that animation uh, I've added a stop. So this uh, prevents the ball from automatically playing back when it's loaded into Emacs Studio. Um, so now uh, just to demonstrate how this would normally behave without any uh, action script uh, behaviors, then you can see I have a sample Emac going. So I go to page 2 and I add the animation I created on one of the pages. So I'll just go browse for my custom flash file. Uh, so here we go, I have the flash file on page, I click preview and you can see that uh, when I reach this page uh, nothing happens since the flash file has uh, been instructed to stop in the first frame. So now uh, I'll go back into Flash and I'll tell you uh, what I need to code to make this work uh, in a way so that the Flash file will play once uh, the page that it's on is reached. So basically the first thing I do here is that I import the Shockwave Flash Holder API classes. Now this can be done by typing import Shockwave Flash Holder API dot star. So this imports both of the classes located in that file. Uh, and you can see here if I go into the folder and open the Shockwave Flash Holder API folder you can see that there are two classes here, the EMS Mediator class and the Message Event class. Uh, these are the two classes necessary to use the API. So after that I call the, um, I initiate the EMS Mediator class. This is done by calling EMS Mediator dot instance dot init. And you can see I'm initing it to, uh, to this timeline, this frame. And I'm making it call back the function called Emac Listener, which I created down here. So this is the function that retrieves, uh, receives broadcasts coming from the Emac and makes the Flash movie respond to those. So basically what I'm receiving here is something called a message event. So you can see I have a function called Emac listener. It receives something called an event, a variable called event, which is of the type message event. And uh, inside the function, I am getting the uh, event message, which is a sub property of the uh, message event and converting that into a string. Uh, so basically, uh, this is the message that I set up in, uh, in Emacs Studio, and I'll make the uh, I'll make the clip here respond to uh, two different strings, one called play ball, which will always make the uh, clip play, um, no matter how many times it's played before, and another one called uh, play ball once, which will uh, track a simple variable, simple boolean variable and make sure that uh, this behavior is only executed once uh, on every session. So now if I go back into Emacs Studio, I can uh, select my Flash object, and um, then you can see that uh, what I want to do here is I want to make a broadcast that uh, triggers this behavior in the Flash object. So in this case, I'll put that broadcast behavior on the document view. So I'll select my pages, I'll go to Events, and I'll say on enter page, since I want this to trigger when the page is reached. Then I'll say on page three, which is the page where I put my object. And I'll say advanced broadcast chakra flash holder API message. And we'll type in play ball, which was the first message I set up. So if I click finish and preview, you will see that, there we go. When I reach this page, uh, then the Flash movie will automatically play back. So it'll play back once. And this will happen every time I reach the page. So if I flip back and flip forward to that page again, 
then once again the flash movie will play back and it'll continue this behavior forever. So this is a nice way of using the same animation over and over again on one page. But let's say I only wanted this animation to play once, uh, which was the first time the page was entered, then I can change my broadcast message here to say play ball once, and then we'll use the other behavior that I set up in the code, uh, which only plays back one time, and then uh, does not play back again for this session. So you see that was the first playback, I move away from that frame, I move back, and the ball does not perform the bouncing mo motion the second time around. Um, so that's pretty much all there is to setting up uh, behavior like this uh, using the new ActionScript 3 API. As you can see, it's uh, about 10 lines of code, uh, but you could expand upon this to create advanced behaviors, making uh, your animations play in one way the first page time the page is reached, and the second, second way the second time the page is reached, or creating more advanced behaviors. This concludes this uh, demonstration. I hope that uh, you'll be working with the ActionScript 3 API, and I'll be making this uh, example publicly available on a link which you can find at the end of the demonstration.